You want to know how you can tell the WWE is a large corporation? It's very simple. You can look at the decisions that they make and clearly see that this company is run like a major corporation. Here's what I mean. The WWE will sit there and pretend that they value customer feedback, just like a lot of corporations. They'll pretend that they want the input of others, both outside of the company and inside of the company, on how to make things better. They will be presented with real, credible ideas that will indeed impact positive changes that the company is seeking and then ultimately the company will come up with the exact opposite of what everything that has been presented that was a good idea and try to present this bullshit as the solution to the fucking problem. Now the WWE wants to try and make SummerSlam a bigger deal. They basically want to make it the WrestleMania of the summer. And that's good. They should. And there are a lot of things that people like me and many others, surely both within the company and outside of the company, would suggest to be able to help WWE affect the type of change necessary in order to help that occur. You know, how about building up some new stars, giving us some interesting and compelling characters that also happen to be engaged in some interesting, compelling storylines, and ultimately giving us matches that feel fresh, that feel important, that feel significant, featuring performers that are fresh and important and engaging and entertaining and significant. These are the types of things that you could do, sprinkle with a little of this and a little of that, to help make SummerSlam the WrestleMania of the summer. So, of course, the WWE goes in a completely divergent different direction and says, how do we make SummerSlam the WrestleMania of the summer? Let's go ahead and make it the same length of time. SummerSlam's gonna be four hours. The fuck did this come from? It's bad enough that you've got to toil through three hours of Raw, and if you're a hearty soul, an additional two hours of SmackDown and an hour of NXT each and every freaking week. Now, with a three-hour Raw that is mostly wrestling and random middle-of-the-road wrestling at that, you've got to sit there for their big show of the summer and watch four hours of what you primarily get on Raw every week any damn way. With a lot of matches and face-offs, face so to speak, that you've already freaking seen, and in some cases, several damn times. There's nothing fresh about it. There's nothing unique about it. There's nothing different about it. The WWE says the way to fix it is to make it bigger and to give you more. More, more! And in this case, more, of course, instead of being interesting and compelling characters in interesting and compelling storylines, leading to interesting and compelling matches have decided to just give you an extra hour of the shit. Now, of course, you'll have the nerds that'll sit there and say that this is good because that means more time for the matches and all this other dumb shit. Look, the WWE is going to do the same thing they do every fucking year with WrestleMania. This is one of the big hindrances to WrestleMania every year. They'll have a four-hour show. They'll only have, like, eight freaking matches, which is not nearly enough meaning they will rush through the first damn hour like they do every year with freaky WrestleMania. Then they got to slow down and bring themselves basically to a grinding halt so the whole momentum and flow of the show is fluctuating and off throughout the entire course of that ever-loving fucking four hours. Then you have matches that go way too fucking long, and that's exactly what the hell you're going to have happen here with SummerSlam. I mean, let's look at SummerSlam. This is not a SummerSlam preview, mind you, but for crying out loud, you think it's a good idea to have the show go four hours and have what you have for the freaking card. If you're actually going to try and make this your WrestleMania of the summer, then maybe you should actually have matches that feel WrestleMania-worthy. 
Now, perhaps Undertaker Brock Lesnar, you could argue, feels like a WrestleMania worthy match. Okay, that's one. And we're done. That is fucking it. John Cena versus Seth Rollins, title versus title, most certainly doesn't feel like it belongs on any WrestleMania, even a bad one. The hell else she got? The Wyatt family versus the skeleton of the Shield and Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose? Does that feel like a WrestleMania worthy match? Is that dumb dick Divas Revolution shit, that three-way tag match, does that feel like something that is WrestleMania worthy? No, it feels like something WWE would book at WrestleMania for the Divas, but it doesn't feel WrestleMania worthy. Kevin Owens versus Cesaro? Mm, but frankly, no, not WrestleMania worthy based off of their position in the company at this current time. What are you going to do? Maybe Randy Orton versus Sheamus? That most certainly isn't WrestleMania worthy because we've seen it too many fucking times. A four-way tag match for the tag titles isn't WrestleMania worthy. I mean, a triple threat between Ryback, Miz, and Miz Show, most big show, Miz Show, who gives a fuck show, most certainly isn't WrestleMania worthy. I mean, here's what you basically have got with the WWE in SummerSlam 2015. You've got a slightly better than average Survivor Series. Numerous tag matches, triple threat matches, and all this other shit with maybe one or two marquee singles matches. That's what the fuck this show is. It's a longer version of Survivor Series. Maybe if you wanted to build up another one of your major pay-per-views, one of your major pay-per-view brands like a Survivor Series. I don't know, maybe you would actually book Survivor Series like a Survivor Series used to be. You wouldn't sit there and book SummerSlam like a fucking Survivor Series used to be. I mean, of all the things you could sit there and do to try and make SummerSlam feel like the WrestleMania of the summer, you know, even including putting it in a stadium that would seat 70 or 80,000 people, the WWE instead decides, well, let's just make it the same length of time as WrestleMania, and that's ultimately going to make the magic happen, and that's going to make it fucking work. There are so many other things you could do other than that that would be good fucking ideas. You know, like actually regarding money in the bank in June up until next weekend as the road to SummerSlam. Actually trying to get momentum for a couple of your characters, so that way you have people in places that fans want to see come your big show of the summer. But instead, four hours of this shit come next Sunday? Come on, man. This is stupid. Stupid, stupid, fucking stupid. Because we already know how this is going to go down because it's so often how it goes down with WrestleMania. And no to the people that sit there and think fewer matches are better. Ding dong, you're fucking wrong. Now look, I'm not advocating for 16 matches on the damn card, but we've been there before and we know how this fucking goes. And again, as is so often the case with the WWE special events on the network now, most of these matches feel like a waste of time, random, pointless, and not really going to accomplish anything. And you sit there and try to justify yourself why you're paying this network subscription price, even if you're fucking streaming this shit, I guess you're not. You try to sit there and justify why you're continuing to watch this product, but it continues to insult your intelligence and bore the ever-loving fucking crap out of you again, whether you want to be honest with yourself and admit it to yourself or not. Four hours of fucking SummerSlam! No! I understand Raw is three hours every week, so one way to make the pay-per-view feel different is to have it go longer because that way it doesn't feel like a freaking Raw. Well, the problem with that is, if most of the matches feel like they belong on Raw, and the build-up to the show makes us feel like it's a glorified Raw, then guess what it is? It's basically a glorified Raw that you're expecting people to pay $9.99 in order to fucking watch. If you wanted to make SummerSlam really stand out as something different and really make it kick ass, then give us five or six really, really damn good matches and make the show fucking two hours.
That'll make it stand out. That'll make it different to anything else you do. I miss when the old in-your-house pay-per-views used to be shorter. Not every pay-per-view needs to be the same fucking length. And in this case, SummerSlam most certainly doesn't need to be the same length as WrestleMania because WrestleMania has a Hall of Fame inductees to fill time. They always have some lame-ass, dumb-dick performance to fill time. They have so many other things that tie into WrestleMania to help fill the time, all of which SummerSlam has absolutely none fucking of at this point in time. Four fucking hours of this shit! Who the hell thinks this is a good idea? I'll tell you who. Corporate suits with their heads stuck up their fucking asses that wouldn't know a good idea if it slapped them in the fucking face. This is stupid. Four hours for fucking SummerSlam. Oh, because that's going to make it feel like a bigger show. Ugh.